What's up, everybody? It's James here from the Sawyer Family Reviews channel. Today is Wednesday, July 24th, 2024, and this is the weekly comic book pickups video. Every week, I buy comic books, get them for myself, get them for my kids, get them at Queen City Comics in Fairfield, Ohio. Zip code 45014. If you're in the area and into comic books, check out that comic shop. Go a mile down the road and check out the toy department. Why don't you? I've been failing miserably at getting these up on Wednesdays. I record the video, I edit the video, I upload the video, and then I forget to post the video. So that's how things go. Um, but I put up last week's this morning. I'm going to hope to remember to do this week's actually today and actually post it, but we'll see what happens. First of all, I have a couple big trades that aren't going to fit in this bag that I want to show you guys. Robin Compendium, Robin Tim Drake Compendium, Volume 1. Uh, the 90s Tim Drake, Robin. Um, I, I consider all the DC characters, there's pre-New 52 and there's post-New 52 of all these characters. Because you know, regardless of what DC wants to tell you and what other people want to tell you, things changed after the New 52. And then again after Rebirth. Those are different characters across the DC Universe than what we had pre-New 52. They went through too many changes. There's too many continuities that got merged. For me, there's the pre-New 52 DC and the post-New 52 DC, which then became the post-Rebirth DC. It's all too confusing. But to me, I recognize them as different continuities, different characters, all that stuff. So, But the pre-New 52 Tim Drake Robin was one of my favorites. I loved reading these books. $60. You get all of this great Tim Drake Robin content, especially... The, Oh my gosh, that suit was the best suit. Uh, I'm not going to flip through it because it's too darn big. And then, since it was there and Bob had an extra, I went ahead and got the Nightwing. The pre-52 again. Nightwing Stories, uh, Compendium Volume 1, A Night in Bloodhaven. $60. These were great. Chuck Dixon was just killing it back then. He was just killing it. So these are awesome. These giant, thick hardcovers filled with great, fun stories. What a great time to re be a reader back then in both of these books. I I loved it. I loved reading comics back then. All right, and so now we'll get into this week's books. We've got... Uh, Gracie didn't have any new books, so I grabbed her a couple of these old Walt Disney comics. Walt Disney Comics and Stories 577 and 579. They were only two bucks each, so I grabbed her two. Even though the boys each only got one comic, their comics are more expensive. Looks like a bunch of Huey, Dewey, and Louie and Uncle Scrooge. we got Mickey Mouse. we got some Goofy Story... Yeah, she'll dig on that. And then here's the other one. Same deal. We got some Donald Duck going on. And then we've got Little Bad Wolf. And then we've got Mickey Mouse. And that's about it. All right, now we're into current books for this week. Although those compendiums are current as well. Although the Nightwing's not. The Nightwing was out a couple weeks ago. For Blaze, we've got Creature from the Black Lagoon Lives, number 4, 499. They're actually three books that I kept chosen for Blaze this week. There was Dick Tracy, there was this, and there was Army of Darkness. Uh, I went with this, so I may have made the wrong right choice, but I don't know. Skybound and an image present Don Waters and Ram 4? Ram V? I don't know. Matthew Roberts doing the art. I think he's digging on these Universal Monster books, and that's in line with his kind of love of movies, so that's the one I went with. With that one, and this I think this is the better cover. This Jenny Friesen cover. Uh, and then we've got for Keaton Void Rivals number eleven. I don't need to tell you again how much Keaton loves the Energon universe. This is three ninety nine. Springer's on the cover. I have no idea what Void Rivals is about. I know it's written by Robert Kirkman with art by Lorenzo De Felici, but I don't know what it's about. I don't read it. There's Hot Rod, who's my favorite Transformer. So there's something. There's something I like. Hot Rod's cool. And then last but not least, a book for me. Star Wars Darth Vader, number 48. $4.99. The Dark Side of Luke Skywalker. This is written by Greg Pak and art by Raphael Iencio. Ienso? I don't know what it's about. It's got Luke in his Jedi outfit. I like that. And that's it. So that's it for this week. Hopefully I actually post this today. <laughs> we'll see. Uh, if you enjoy the videos, like, subscribe, notify, and leave a comment down below, all that stuff. See you guys next week. Goodbye.